Yo, what's up, yo? This is Killer Priest, and I'm representing right now for Kofi Universe. That universe is the universe you should be in. YouTube, salute. All right, RZA and Raekwon clash over Wu-Tang Clan's future in American Saga series finale. Come to my channel, thumbs up the video. Sub button, click the bell icon. All right, when I upload new content. All right, so if you haven't checked out Wu-Tang and American Saga season three, this is the final season of the um, show. I guess we're going to be doing spinoffs. I don't know what spinoffs. I heard it was like Method Man spinoff. I believe Ghostface spinoff. Maybe an ODB or a RZA. But we'll see. But um, last night I watched the um the final episode. I got mixed feelings about it, but I'm going to have to say that for my um review. I'm going to do a review for season three. So in, in the scene, tensions ride high. As Riz and Raekwon clashed over the direction of the Wu-Tang Clan. Um, and it was going for the group's 1997 album, Wu-Tang Forever. This is the time when they was actually recording. Ghostface was promoting Iron Man. So, Rizza, you know, he had hired an orchestra to come in to the Wu Mansion and actually give them a different type of sound. So... All the members in there was like Jizza, Deck, New God, um, Ghost was all in there. And it was like, you know, just whatever. They wasn't really feeling it, but they was like, okay, whatever. So um, he wanted, you know, more live instruments going a different a musical direction, utilizing the studio orchestra and the recording process. So Ray comes in. He's like, what the hell is this? He's like, where's the hip hop? Come on, son. Why are you changing our shit? And RZA, um, he said, how was this going to get us to number one? RZA was actually looking to be number one in the world, not number one on R.B. rap. He was on um, Billboard, just number one in the world. He said, we should stick to our brand and make it even bigger, even prettier. You know what I mean? Like some real movie shit. Went to L.A. and came back on his Hollywood shit. And then RZA replies, I hear you. Let me ask you, though, what does the Wu tank stand for? Witty, unpredictable. I'm always moving forward and evolution. We do this right. This tree planted will stand for 100 years. Um, Wu Tang Forever came out in June 1997. It debuted at number one on the 4200 chart after selling over 612,000 copies in the first week. Um, because, you know, 36 Chambers only sold 30,000 units <laughs> this first week. Um, it went four times platinum. Yeah. You know, so that was actually a great thing. And it was nominated for the Best Rap Album at the 40th Annual Grammy Awards. They didn't win the Grammy that year for that, but it still was nominated. Um, the final episode is titled Triumph. You already know from there. The single Triumph. Um tank forever but um this is my thing let me break this down who was right was raekwon right or were was rizzo right I, they was both right i feel like it's nothing wrong having to go in a different direction but don't forget where you came from and don't lose the streets yes you want to go number one in the world you want to show people you have evolved musically as far as not just lyrically but more like production wise, because some things is like, damn, that shit still sound like y'all still on that same shit. You know, like you can still talk about the same stuff, but like you still gotta have balance. Yes, RZA did a great job with 36 Chambers, the cow. Um, Return of the 36 Chambers, the dirty version, the purple tape, only built for Cuban Links, Liquid Source, Iron Man. He did a great job with those projects. You're not gonna take nothing away from him. But at the same time, though, you still got to get, you know, you should get still advice, opinions from the other nine members. Ask them how they feel, what they want to do. Yes, the um the contract was getting ready to come up the five years they signed for the Wu-Tang Productions. Everybody being managed by resident and stuff, so that people were free to go their own ways after that. But still... This was more like, I feel Wu-Tang got to a point 
they reached a pinnacle. And they never got a chance to get over that pinnacle except by Ghostface. Ghostface was able to hold Wu Tang down by himself with a great catalog overall. Method Man became to do his thing, you know, him and Red Man. Um, Ray, we didn't hear really no too many good albums from Ray, you know, because his second studio album was not good to me. You know, Only View for Cuban Links 2, 2009. Yeah, I think about 2009, right? Yeah, that was cool, but Shaolin versus Wu Tang was way better. Deck finally came out with Uncontrolled Substance in 1999. That album could have been way better. I liked it, but it still could have been way better because, you know, RZA didn't put his energy into Deck like that. Yes, Lyle ended up signing Deck. No, but Deck should have been had, did something. I don't know if his album got lost in the flood and RZA never really took his time to help him. Jizza, beneath the surface, that third studio album he came out with, it was cool. Master Killers, uh, was it? Um, No release date. No date, whatever it's called. His first studio album, 2004. That was a solid album. People speak on the album. You Got Album, Redemption, that came out in 99, because I was in the Navy at that time. I just got in the Navy. That album was, man, it could have been way better. Half a dollar, the pillars were solid. Some people said it was whack. Some people said it was good. This the Cow 2000. I just felt like the steam was going down. And the W album that came out in 2000, no. Iron Flag was way better than the W. I ain't gonna lie. I was happy about that. But still, I felt like the steam was being lost from that train by Wu. And I felt like that's when you knew they were going in separate directions because RZA had other things on his plate. He started to do the Bobby Digital um, thing, his alter ego. You know, Ray was probably looking like, yo, what, what's up? We're not, we not doing this no more. I'm, I'm not feeling this. And I'm not mad at him how he felt like that. And I just felt like Musically, they had different perspectives. Their lenses was like totally, you know, totally um, as far as seeing what they need to see and how they wanted to go. Think about it. Ray Drop only built for Cuban Links, one of the, arguably one of the best hip hop albums of all time. RZA, probably some of his best production on that album. They bought um, beat by beat from the beginning to the end. You know, so Ray was like, we need that sound. We need that grittier sound. Come back with that sound. RZA, he had one foot in and one foot out. You guys said this on Vlad TV years ago. And a lot of people do admit that RZA was not there no more. That's why he had people like True Masters and Fourth Disciple doing the beats. And I'm not mad at those producers because they solid. But I'm just saying, like, he didn't give his energy no more. That's why when you saw Method Man on Takao 2000, he had other producers like Havoc doing beats. True master doing beats. Think about Deck. Deck started doing his own beats after he did his first track, um, Let Me Out on a Tales from the Hood soundtrack. You know, Ghostface ended up going to um, mess with different producers for Supreme Clientele. Ray messed with um, different producers for Immobility. For real. Capadonna album was produced by RZA. It was produced by a like, true master, majority of that album. You see what I'm saying? RZA, man, he was just on some other shit. And I'm not mad, but that's where I felt like it was never the same after those five years. It was like bits and pieces. You were happy, but they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't hold the water tank as far as keeping that water inside. A hole got, a hole was punctured, and little by little, deep, deep got exposed, and Water just got let out the um the tank. It was never the same again. Yes, some, sometimes people will actually pour water into like a um a bucket and fill it back up, but it was coming right back out because of the direction everybody was going. Post the comments below. Oak smash Black Panther. Like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. You want to support and donate to the channel? I have Patreon, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Till next time, salute.